Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Generation 1 Transformers review. And in this video, we are taking to the clouds with 1988's G1 Pretender, Cloudburst. Now, since Cloudburst came out in 88, one year after the television show ended, he did not appear in an animated series, though he did appear in his animated television commercial, along with fellow Pretenders Landmine and Wave Rider. Now, he did appear heavily in the Japanese animated series, Master Force, but unfortunately, I have not seen that yet, though a lot of you in the comments sections tell me I really, really need to. Now, Cloudburst first appeared in Marvel Comics in issue number 40, where he and the other Autobot pretenders were created thanks to Optimus Prime stealing the secret formula, if you will, from Scorponok on how to make pretenders. Cloudburst then appeared in issue number 52, along with fellow pretender Landmine, in probably one of the weirdest Transformer stories that came out of the 80s. Optimus Prime orders Cloudburst and Landmine to go to a space station to secure microchips to help rebuild Autobots that were damaged by Starscream in issue 50. So, one thing into it leads into another, and... Cloudburst and Landmine were captured by these giant red Pac-Man looking robots called the Mechanibals. They eat robots. So Cloudburst came up with this idea and tricked the Mechanibals into letting them go if they went to this planet called Femax to secure these crystals. So when they land on this planet, it is all controlled by these Amazonian warrior women. But fortunately for Cloudburst and Landmine, they're disguised as humans in their shells. So they're making a deal. They're getting the crystals. And the leader of the Amazonians, called the First One, gets the hots for Cloudburst. So she's got him cornered in her chambers, putting the moves on him. And he's like, lady, I'm a robot. And he reveals himself to her. And she cuts his head off. Uh, the story continues. Uh, they make peace with the robots thanks to land, or they make peace with the female Amazons thanks to Landmine. Uh, Cloudburst gets his head back on, and they complete their mission. As I said before, <laughs> it was the 80s. Now, Cloudburst's last appearance in the comic was in issue number 75, where he and Brainstorm are attacking Unicron. Brainstorm knocks Cloudburst off course and Cloudburst flies right into a path of flame breath from Unicron exploding. And that's the end of Cloudburst. So enough of the history and sexual exploits of Cloudburst. Let's get on to the figure. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, being an Autobot, Cloudburst's shell is that of a human in some sort of environmental suit. And I really like the looks of this suit. I really like the details on it. You can see the molded air hoses up there on top. He's got a nice set of pecs, some ab details, molded details there on the legs, and lots of details on his backpack. As you can see, my Cloudburst is a little rough. He is probably the worst looking G1 in my collection. A lot of paint scuffs on this guy. One of these days, I'm going to get a new shell. I did try to spruce him up with some brand new Toy Hacks labels, which helps a little bit. Cloudburst comes with four accessories. This really cool laser whip. I mean, not many action figures came with whips. This red laser gun, blue belt, and blue helmet. Now, as far as articulation goes, Cloudburst is a pretender, so the only thing he can do is rotate his arms a complete 360. To remove the inner robot, first thing you're going to do is remove the helmet. This, of course, shows more paint damage on his brown hair. The brown hair, same color as his eyes. The hair and eye color is always the same on these guys. And now you're going to remove the belt. Just get a thumbnail in, pop one side off, and then the other. To remove the inner bot, grab the front of the shell, back of the shell, Pull apart, releasing the inner robot. Once you have the inner robot out, what you're going to do is take the arms and fold them forward, and then flip the feet up. Then take the large blaster from the shell, flip it on its side where you'll see the little peg, 
that will fit right into the robot's hand. And now you have Cloudburst all ready for battle. I really like Cloudburst in a robot mode. He's not nearly as lanky and goofy looking as some of the other pretenders. He actually has some decent proportions. Pretty good paint applications right there on what will be the windshield of the vehicle and a painted blue face. Good face sculpt, but I really wish they gave him some painted eyes. He sports some brand new Toy Hacks labels, which add some extra detail to the figure there on the shoulders and the legs. And that's about it for his robot mode. Articulation for him, legs up and down. He's got a slight knee bend, more of a backwards break the knee bend. Head can do a complete 360, as can the arms. So that's pretty much it for Cloudburst in robot mode. Let's go ahead and transform him to vehicle mode. First thing we're going to do is remove the blaster, turn the head completely around, take the arms, fold them up, point the toes down, and then fold the legs up over the body, bending at the knee like so. Now he's got these little wings underneath, so you're going to fold those out. Make sure the flat part of the wing is toward the robot's head. And then underneath, if you can get your thumbnail in, pull out the nose cone for Cloud Jet's, Cloud Jet, Cloud Burst's vehicle mode. Then you'll take the blaster, which will peg right into that hole, completing the transformation. I like this jet mode. Cloudburst is my favorite of the Autobot pretenders. Granted, I only have four of them, but I think he has the best looking alt mode. This thing looks like a jet. You really don't have to use your imagination to pretend it's a jet. It's, it's not bad at all. I like the looks of this vehicle. And that's pretty much all I have to say about Cloudburst jet mode. And now for some size comparison, here is 1988's Generation 1 Cloudburst with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Mint in Box Titan's Return Cloudburst, and Power of the Primes Cloudburst. Now I actually really like this figure. I'm not a big fan of the Autobot Pretenders, but I am a fan of G1 Cloudburst. I like his shell, I like his collars, I like the inner robot mode, and I like the alt mode. Now I do something a little different for mine as far as displaying my figure, I take the wings from jet mode and actually flare them out and display my cloudburst like that. It really adds to the look of the character and I always like any type of jet transformer to have the wings splayed out from the back like the Seekers. So anyway guys, that is 1988's Generation 1 Cloudburst. So does a G1 Cloudburst belong in your collection? Normally, I would say absolutely. If you're a G1 collector, you need to get him in your collection, especially if you need some sort of Autobot pretender. This is one you definitely want. Of course, he's highly recommended for fans of the pretenders, and he's just a great toy as far as the Autobot pretenders are concerned. I'm really not a fan of the Autobot pretenders, as I've said, but I do like this one. I like the shell, I like the robot, and I like that jet mode. And guys, I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. I try to put out one to two videos a week. Just depends on my schedule. Also, check out my series, The Sit Rep, where I sit down and interview other Transformer Collector YouTubers, and we just sit down and shoot the bull regarding our favorite robots in disguise. And guys, I want to thank you also. When I last checked, I was only 10 subscribers away from 1,400. So I am so thrilled with that. My goal is I would love to have 2,000 subscribers by the time TFCon rolls around in October. So that's just my personal goal for my challenge. Guys, thanks again. This is Patriot Prime signing out. hoo -ah! Hey, I really appreciate you guys stopping by my channel. Don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out some of my other videos that I've done on Generation 1 Transformers, Modern Era Transformers, and Toy Hacks Repro Label sets. Once again, this is Patriot Prime. Hoo-ah!